Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. My two winners that I picked, they have not reached out. They have not reached out. The winners are Jane Green and Michelle Flowers. I'll give you guys 24 more hours if you want to win this chocolate chakra beaded bracelet with the gold leopard head. You know, and then we have this rose court bracelet with the um, gold dragon head here, you know, and it's free. It's a gift for supporting the channel. But if you guys don't reach out within 24 hours, I'm going to pick another person that may want it here. And I'm just going to pick one person if either one of them respond and not the other i'll just give them both to one person if they respond if they both respond they each will get one if they don't i'll give it to just one or the other whoever responds okay and if neither of them respond that lucky person could be you if you like this jewelry and you want it hey i'm just gonna pick somebody i ain't even gonna ask for a pick me comment nothing i'm just gonna pick somebody so if i pick if i put winner under you, a comment that you send to me, I'm going to pick somebody like that, okay? It's just going to be random, and it's going to be something that, that draws me to you, okay? All right, so there we have that, Pisces. All right, so this is the Star Trek deck, you guys. Let's hop right into this, because I've been feeling like there's some distance between some of you and your partner here, or your person here. I'm I'm feeling like this is not a person that you're committed to. I'm feeling like this is a sneaky link. So let's talk about the sneaky links tonight, all right? Ooh, because I can feel it. I feel like you and your sneaky link didn't have a disagreement on something. Or there's like a separation happening here. Something that feels kind of final. You know, like done. OV, right? All right? So let's hop into it, Pisces, and see what's going on with this person. What is their energy? What is their energy here? There it is. Yeah. That's five cards there. Okay. We have the three of Bathless here. The three of Bathless. Oh my goodness, Pisces. This person is popping up with surprises here. The Hierophant was a big surprise with the death card here. Yeah, there's definitely been some changes around commitment. Someone feels like they, you know, um, gained some form of knowledge here after this change here. There's definitely something gained here, some knowledge this person learns something here. Learn something about this connection. Learn something about you, your actions here. Because with this Scorpio energy with the death card, I feel like it's been hard to break through somebody. That shell, that toughness. And it's like every time you try to attempt to pull emotion out of this person you get that scorpion tail there you get that warning sign here something's became crystal clear here especially with the three of wands i feel like somebody wants to open up here somebody wants to open up here and communicate here with the eight of backless the eight of wands this person is experiencing a lot of changes here. And they have a lot going on here, Pisces. And they feel like they need to get more grounded here. They want to have something new happen in their life. I, I get the energy that this person is starting to feel like they want something stable here. The Hierophant, old person, wiser person. Maybe this person feels like, hey, I'm getting older you know, whatever this change was, whatever this separation is between the two of you, it like taught them a lesson here with the Hierophant. They learned something and it could have been them needing to open up here. But I think this person is feeling like they, they realized like, hey, 
I need something stable in my life. I need to have a, a, a fresh start here. I need to be grounded. I need this. This could be the beginning of my life here for real when it comes to love. They have a lot of going on. They have a lot of questions. They want to talk to you about something here, Pisces. But with the five of starships, this person is sad here. This person is sad because they still have a lot of love in their heart for you. They do. And and they're disappointed here in themselves for not having forward movement here with you. For not giving you what they knew you wanted, which was a successful relationship here. And that's probably the whole reason why you kept even dealing with them. Because you thought you were going to get fulfillment out of it. But you didn't. So I feel like you and this person may be feeling sadness because you all didn't succeed together here. There was a separation okay so let's get some space here because this person said a lot <laughs> all right so let's see what does this person want for what movement on uh what do they want to open up to pisces about and we have the seven of cups about how they lived in the shadows of their heart about how they were confused around, around what they even felt for you. About how like it was like one big fantasy. It's like you fulfilled this person's wish. You know, you fulfilled this person emotionally. It was like you did. You fulfilled their wish. You fulfilled them emotionally. You feel, fulfilled them compassionately, sexually here is what I'm feeling. And it's like you opened up to them, but they were confused about their feelings here. Let's see. And they kept their feelings in the shadows here. And with, with this Hierophant, we have the page of starships, Pisces. This person is highly surprised that they have this much love for you. And it, it took for you, it took for, for you to walk away from them, set a boundary. Something happened. I really just want to know what happened. And I'm going to figure that out with the death card here. But yeah, you, you took this person by surprise. They didn't realize how much love it, that they actually do have for you here, Pisces. So now they kind of just feeling a little silly here and thinking about a future with the Hierophant. They learned the lesson here in love. They learned that I feel like life is too short. And I may have been confused about my emotions about Pisces in the past, but I'm damn sure not confused about them now. Whatever this separation is, this person has a lot of time to think and they're quite shocked that you know, they have this much love for you. Maybe you're dealing with someone who didn't know how much they actually care for you until like you were gone, you know. So let's see what what changed. What happened here? What happened here? We got the strength. Oh, we not taking all these. Okay. It. it oh, I know this person held back on their truth because I saw that Ace of Swords here. They held back on their truth. They held back on giving you something stable here. They invested so much into you and into others here. And that's what it's about. This person wasn't able to commit. They wasn't able to give you something solid here. They were investing into you emotionally, sexually, but they were also juggling you around and working closely with others others opening up opportunities here with other people they had too many doors open here and I think you just walked out on them and it feels like a forever walk out to me here so this eight of wands this person wants to talk they want to communicate I feel like they want to talk fast they want to try to get everything out before you say a word here you know, what, what, what is this communication? And we have the, the, the night of starships. And this is this person still thinking of you in a romantic way here. Still want to communicate these romantic thoughts they have. This fantasy of what they want with you here. This person wants to talk about it. Emotion here. I feel like they want a chance here to at least speak how they feel to you here. So with this Ace of Pentacles, this person realized like they need to have something solid in their life here. You know, 
And that comes with the king of latinum here. This person realizes that, you know, oh, look at the king of latinum. He got that third eye up there. He just, it's weird. <laughs> okay, but this person realizes like, hey, you know, I got to have success here. I got to have success here. I have to have stronger relationships. I have to be more committed. I have to be more loyal, right? Because the king of, of Latinum is very, very loyal. This is Mr. Conceal Don't Feel, the king of Pentacle, right? Very loyal, very giving, very um, conservative person here but not very emotional. And that explains why this person is confused here around their emotions. Because whatever they've been offering you wasn't working because what they were offering you was not emotion here. What they were offering you was things of this world, things that money can buy, things that you can see, touch and feel here, physical attention here, not emotional attention, not the attention here of the, the, the starships here all the water you wasn't really getting that attention these emotions are actually the emotion that this person picked up after the separation here or the disconnect so this person knows that they want to start something here they have to have something solid here in love here they know they have to open up here in order to get success, in order to have the sun here. They have to. So let's see, what is this sun? Why is the sun here for uh, this person? We have the five of pentacles, the two of swords, and the four of pentacles. This person realized that they were vibrating on a stagnant energy here. They realized that they were being selfish by not making the decision here, by not offering you something stable and it cost them their happiness because now without you, they realized how happy they actually were and now they're not here. That's why the five of starships is here. This person is sad. They're disappointed in themselves here for blowing it with you. They fucking blew it here. So let's see what is this sadness this person is experiencing here. And we have the queen of Batlis here. And this is the queen of wands here. This person feels like this is what they lost. Someone who's very beautiful. Someone who put in that work. Took the necessary steps planted the seed, someone who showed them that they were passionate about them and cared about them and had emotions for them. And this person used and abused it and they feel like they've lost you here. Like, I feel like this is forever. Like, I feel like this disconnect here with your sneaky leak is over. It's over here. They feel like they've lost their ride or die here. Their best friend here. What else here? The six of, of cups. The six of starships. All this person do is think about you. And remember everything that you all shared here. They, they feel like they've lost their soulmate here, Pisces. Let's see what's crossing all of this energy here. The queen of latinum here. This person wished that they could have been built this family here with you. They wish they could have been more real with you, more understanding here. They, they feel like you're strong. They feel like they know you're good on your own. They know that you're good without them here with this Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles was love to have some, a man with money. Queen of Pentacles take care of her family. She's definitely strong and grounded and rooted, you know, but the Queen of Pentacles also know how to take care of herself. And that's what this person know. They know that you don't need them here. They feel like they lost something solid, something real, someone beautiful here. And all they can do is just think about you here, Pisces. So uh, somebody's sneaky link is like really going through an emotional roller coaster, thinking about, you know, how to become stable in love. 
trying to figure out a way to open up and learn how to commit. You know, they learned a life lesson here and they want to communicate some level of emotion to you to see if they could bring back this happiness because they realized that they were being selfish and they didn't make a decision here around... Um, around this situation here and with this five of pentacles they feeling left they feeling down they're worried they're broken here you know so yeah all they can do is think about you now here pisces yeah let's get some message of guidance here let's see what else because i feel like there's just more here let's see what is the message of guidance here? Temperance. You probably can expect a phone call here. Every time I get this temperance, I feel like this person either wants to call you, start a conversation to be able to start to balance things out, or they always thinking about calling you or texting you. It's like every time they get their phone and it's like, no, I'm not going to call here. This person wants to be emotionally balanced before they call here. They want to try to at least be balanced, leveled here. They need some justice. So let's see. What is the message of guidance here? Ten of Cups here. It's, it's not even the messages of guidance that's coming out. It's still this person speaking. It's, it's saying like, I want a family here with you. The Ten of Spokes. It's the Ten of Cups. It's like, you are my happiness. You are where I'm comfortable at here. And and they want to figure out a way to balance it out here. They want to call you, but they haven't. It's like they're waiting on you to call. Like they keep looking at the phone. All in their emotions now. So far up in their emotions here. The seven of scoops. The page of scoops. Seven of co uh, coins and the page of coins here. This person is now thinking about investing in you here. That seven of pentacle came right back out. That person is now thinking about investing in you now, but in a in a brighter way here. They're feeling like, okay, I need to come out of 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 being responsible for too many women or too many men. And I need to offer one person, you know, my spoon. <laughs> I need to give my spoon to just one person. No, seriously though. And they they're starting to realize that like, hey, like I said, the um the uh the uh hierophant is wise person, older person maybe, maybe you distancing yourself um from them, awaken them into this space where they feel like they need to now settle down here because you know time isn't waiting for anybody here they feel like they fucked up so bad here they want to call you they can see a family being built here with you they realize how happy you make them here and they want to come out and and, and and offer you their spoon here okay so what's the message of guidance here what is the message of guidance for Pisces? Damn. We have the devil and the hierophant again. Damn, Pisces. This person's so stuck on you. Oh, this person's so stuck on you, Pisces. They're not going to let you go easy. Look, I feel like that's the wheel here. Turning, turning. This person is... This, this this devil energy is turning here. They're going wild in their mind here, Pisces. It's like, okay, I learned my lesson. Now it's an obsession here to get you back. This person is trying to get you back attached to them. They're trying to manifest you back into their life here, Pisces. And I don't really see them working alone here. I feel like they may conversate with people with the Hierophant teaching. Somebody's talking to this person. It might be the bad side of this person versus the good side of this person here. Damn, Pisces. This person is, is needs balance. They've been juggling something here. They need balance between their spirituality and this physical realm here. Yes, that's what's going on. Your person is is having a, a a really bad awakening here. And they have to choose a path here. A righteous path or to repeat this cycle over and over again. Maybe not with you, but with others. It's like, it, is this this person's karma? Are they to forever be 
doomed and failed relationships or or is this person gonna <clears throat> get solid with themselves and get solid with who they truly are and and start a new beginning here and and how to treat women or men and and you know really like try to commit themselves to one person here it's like the universe wants this person to be with somebody and not everybody here. Not giving your spoon to the world here. <coughs> so Pisces, it's like a, a a situation here where your person is, is going through spiritual warfare here. They're fighting themselves against the good side of them and the dark side of them. They're, they're, they're learning lessons here in this physical realm. They're learning lessons, but they're very attached to you here, Pisces. They're very attached to you, and I feel like they're going to try to outsmart you or try to figure out a way to get you back, get you back on that wheel here. They want you back. I can hear them saying, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson here. I think they want to make you that solid offer here, Pisces. But I don't know what it is. But I feel like too much has happened. Too much has happened. Mm. So I hope this resonated with somebody. Look, at the bottom of the deck, the fool. The fool here. This person, they're, they're clueless now. They're lost without you here. They're in darkness here without you, Pisces. They just want you back. They want you back. Somebody feels like it's over, over, and they don't know how they're going to move forward here without you. You've put them in fear here. I know the food doesn't represent fear, but I see the moon, and I see this person doesn't know what they're going to do without you here. Now that you're gone, they kind of realize, hell, this is a lonely ass road. The king of strands, which is the king of wands, just sitting there waiting. And, and this is just a picture of the king of wands, a distant memory here. A memory that six of starships, a memory, Pisces, the two of scoops needed to bring they, their life into balance. Needing that balance here. And then the eight of strands again. They're coming to communicate. They're coming in to communicate here, Pisces. So I hope this resonated with somebody. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity. To see what chakra needs to be worked on. Or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Alright. And we have the second chakra. And this is the sacral chakra. And this one is relevant to sensuality. I encourage myself to express my sensuality and emotions creatively using all my faculties, including touch, voice, actions, and creative abilities such as arts, crafts, music, acting, cooking, gardening, and writing. I practice being aware of and enjoying my senses being nourished and stimulated by the natural world, such as by landscapes, people, weather, animals, aromas, and sounds. So sensuality, Pisces, uh, it's like... Be in tune with your senses at this time here. And be creative in how you express your emotions and your creativity here. So sensuality is our positive energy for the day. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have for you, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.